Six women are going to live with communities in some of the most remote places on Earth. Wow. Like many women today, juggling career, home and family, they feel that something is missing. <laughs> By spending time in societies where female roles are very different, they hope to find answers that could change their lives. Forty-year-old Michelle Frost from London is traveling five and a half thousand miles to live with the Raramuri tribe in northwest Mexico. The Raramuri are an ancient tribe, living on the edge of the Copper Canyon, a spectacular chasm, longer and deeper than the Grand Canyon. About 70,000 Raramuri live in remote settlements, spread throughout the Sierra Madre mountains. Often the only way to travel between villages is by foot, and the tribe had developed extraordinary abilities to run these long distances, sometimes for days on end. Back home, Michelle is an actor and budding screenwriter. In this particular scene, it's her first meeting with George Russell. Um, he turns out to be the greatest love of her life and uh, a sort of life mentor. I'm probably one of the only single people amongst my group now. And I, I think they love that because I'd always have some terrible failed dating experience to tell them about. You know, like going on a first date and leaving the tag on your bra because you just bought it that day. Four hooks. Michelle has had several relationships, but none of them has lasted longer than a year. I think it's hard for a guy coming into my life, seeing initially this very open, joyful, confident person. You know, I can do the banter and I can seem very um, confident in every way, and then they will find someone quite different um, when it comes to intimacy. Michelle grew up in Ealing. She and her brother were the children of two respected academics with demanding jobs. So I always felt that I didn't have a chance to be very close to my parents. They weren't very demonstrative, you know, in terms of tenderness towards us. And I always felt a little bit in the way, you know, and, and they, that, that we, I would sort of scurry off to my bedroom and they'd um, get on with their work. I felt um, unwanted, frightened. I kind of do think now or never, totally now or never, you know, enough of the fear, enough of the um, lack of confidence, the self-esteem, I just don't have time to indulge those feelings, you know. And um, this journey could well bring out that sort of a side of me that's, that's, you know, not insecure and inferior. Michelle will spend almost a month with the Raramuri in the state of Chihuahua, in the village of Kitaivo. After two and a half days of traveling, there's still a three hour trek through the mountains where the village is located at an altitude of over seven and a half thousand feet. Gitaivo is a settlement of about 30 homesteads spread out over five miles. Here we go. <laughs> the villagers have gathered together to meet Michelle on the central plateau. Hello, I'm pleased to meet you. <laughs> I feel overwhelmed. <laughs> no one knows what to say. <laughs> because of their remote location, the villagers rarely have visitors and are very shy when they come face to face with strangers. It feels hostile. And maybe I learned that that's not the case. Yeah, that's the word. It feels hostile. 
you kind of expect talking and laughter and it's not there. The Morelos family will be Michelle's hosts in Gitaiwa. Father Teodoro, his son Jesus, and daughter Flor with her four children. It's Rafaela, the mother of the family, who eventually reaches out to welcome Michelle. Look, look at the rainbow. It's mm. the most beautiful rainbow. It's a mm. sign. It's a good sign. Mm. <laughs> Is it a sign in, in your culture as well? I don't know for the next few weeks, Michelle will live as a tribal wife in the Morelos family home. With a kitchen and three bedrooms, the house is large by Raramuri standards. I'm going to sleep now before everyone else does so that I can not be woken by snoring and babies. Buona noche. Exhausted after almost three days traveling, Michelle opts for an early night. I have a terrible feeling I'm not going to sleep at all. She's usually a light sleeper. But Raffaella, the local herbalist, has a remedy, a special mint infusion. Hoop tea, yeah, okay. Hoop tea. Oh, hoop tea. Hoop tea's good. Good night. It's about half past four in the morning, and I'm dying to go to the toilet. But I've absolutely no idea how to get outside. It's absolutely pitch dark in here. Everyone's asleep. And I think someone's sleeping in the kitchen. So I It's 5 a.m. and Raphael is already up, chopping wood for the fire. In Raramuri households, the women get up first to look after the children, clean the house, and have breakfast prepared by the time the men rise around seven. As a tribal wife, Michelle will be expected to help out too. But after her long journey, Raphaela lets her sleep in. Tabre machir krena, alor se huel kru, alor de nar kru pet sone chari kach huena nir kru, panim kuega nir kasam nir elke, hem hem kuet koru kuba, ma machi sa kri kumar ku la ganir tikuliko.
When Michelle finally gets up, she has a very pressing matter to attend to. Yeah, Mago. Mago. Mm. We're finally going Maybe to find out where the toilet is. I can't wait. <laughs> You're joking. Show me, show me, Rafael. I, 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 it, it. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Mm. Do you have to be worried, Mutu? Do you have to be worried, Mutu? Yeah, yeah. But not. You don't know. You don't wipe your bottom with a rock. You don't wipe your bottom with a rock. Ow! It's not painful. Yeah, but you have to be worried, Mutu. I'm going to have to. Oh, right. Well, who would have known that I would be. Wiping my bottom with a rock. I'm going to have a go. What's that year in Harbour? <laughs> the homes in Gitaivo don't have running water, so it's the women's job to collect the daily supply. Flor shows Michelle the ropes. Going is far better than coming back. It's a five minute walk down to the source and they need about 40 litres a day for cooking, cleaning and washing. Does the water come up from the ground here? Yeah, but we can knock up a heat at night. We don't want to go here, man, guys. Now we have to go here, man, guys. Lock up a heat, water up a heat, shoot all right Until a few years ago, when the government paid for a pumping system, the women had to carry the water from a spring half a mile further down into the canyon. It's hard work. This is very hard work. And Flora does it by herself, with a, often an extra litre or two. Yeah. 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 Gracias. Gracias. One of the most important skills of a Raramuri woman is making tortillas. Corn tortillas are the mainstay of the family's diet. But they also grow beans and vegetables, with meat being a very rare luxury. The tribe believes that if you can't make a perfectly round tortilla, you're not a real woman. Oh, what do I don't know what I have to do. <laughs> There are some things that I've learned to do over time really well, and then I feel incredibly confident. But Probably 50% of life intimidates me. You know, it's like so many people, the fear of failing, the fear of losing face, falling fat in your face. I want to excel at what I do. And that's very unlikely with tortilla making. <laughs> Rara Mori women get married as early as 15, and most have four or five children. Rafaela is curious to find out more about Michelle's domestic arrangements. Man, No. Ah, never been married. Never been married. Ah. No. Onira? Because I have never found the right man for me. Tabrete. I feel I'm getting a little bit old now. You can guess how old I am. And I will tell you if you're right or wrong. 42. No, I'm younger. Oh. <laughs> now you're being polite. <laughs> I'm somewhere in the middle. 